Hello, amazing people. I feel like I need to get out of my usual pattern. I want to introduce you to nice cafes around Ginza. So let's go. I think I queued for like an hour. The queue didn't seem that long. Definitely wouldn't recommend if you're in a hurry. I asked for light roast fruity coffee and a hand drip. They recommended something called Ethiopia honey. It's good. Then again, compared to some other hand drip coffees, I wouldn't say that it's anything extremely special. Wouldn't say that it's worth queuing for over an hour. Quite a few people were buying lattes. Maybe their latte game is really strong. It's a nice coffee stand, but I wouldn't say that it's maybe worth the hype. It's good. Since I'm already in a groove of queuing for things, I'm gonna try and have something else. I love Higashi Ginza actually. The buildings are so cute, so old. Definitely has its own vibe. Oh god. I tried going to a place called Agyasan, deep fried sandwiches. I think it's TikTok famous or something. The queue was insane. I was like, there's no way I'm gonna do that. So I'm gonna check one more place, but if that has an insane queue, I think I might just head somewhere normal. The place where I went to is known more for the kakigori, so shaved ice, but since I'm a big pancake girl, I had a pancake. It was really good actually, I really love the flavours, so very kind of like traditional Japanese flavours, kinako, mochi, it was really nice. The presentation obviously wasn't amazing because the pancake power kind of fell. In terms of flavours otherwise, very happy. Sunday and we are doing an afternoon tea at Higashiya Ginza. So Higashiya Ginza is this Japanese tea house but it's not really traditional, it's like a fusion of traditional and modern. Um, I've been there once but it's my first time doing an afternoon tea there so I'm very excited. We're celebrating my friend's birthday which will be very nice.
currently at Bell's in Ginza having breakfast. Today I'm going to do a full day of just running around Ginza and I'm gonna bring you with me. We're gonna visit some nice cafes, explore Ginza. Hope you enjoy the ride. Bills is especially popular as a breakfast spot. They have great breakfast plates, pancakes, sourdough bread. I feel like Tokyo is not that strong when it comes to breakfast places. But Bills is definitely like a really beautiful space and the food is great. Maybe slightly pricey for what you get, but it's a nice experience. Pro tip, make a reservation online. It's quite popular even on weekdays, so a reservation makes your life easier. Next, we're going to the Muji flagship store for the first time. So I have a few things I want to buy from Muji. I need to buy more of the Muji pens. That's like my main thing. This might be very boring, but I'm currently looking at all the cleaning products at this Muji and I am amazed. I had no clue Muji had this many cleaning products. I kind of want to buy many things right now, but I don't want to carry stuff around all day long. So I'm just going to try and keep it minimal. I've been thinking about getting a sofa for my place because it would be nice to have a sofa, especially when people are visiting. This is a three-seater, but there's supposed to be a two-seater version of this. I love the minimalistic look so that's definitely something that I would consider. These Muji cells are great for Japanese rooms because they don't require you to drill the wall necessarily so you can use this pin system. Just worried if I got them for above my bed. If there's an earthquake would everything drop onto my head? So again I had no clue about this. There's a hotel at this Muji as well as a really nice cafe at the top floor where I could imagine one could enjoy doing some work for example it seemed very peaceful Muji even has tiny plants again I had no clue that Muji sells coffee as well the Ethiopia it smells actually really good I'm kind of sad that I actually just bought coffee beans I got my pens my first time to Jigetsu door such as hidden gem and apparently whenever there's like a kabuki show it gets really crowded but at least now it was super super quiet worth going i would say also i was totally not meaning to buy this but i saw the shop with like these fruits mochi desserts i just thought that they looked so good so i just bought one
I don't typically drink lattes, but I need to try this and I'm happy that I did. It's very pretty. In case you didn't know, Ginza 6 has a really nice rooftop. There's a lovely garden here. You can come here for free. It has lovely views of Tokyo, Ginza. It's a lovely place if you want to take a break or you've bought something and you want to enjoy your treats like I am about to. I was wondering whether I should save the ambazo croissant from the Gigi for later, but I'm just gonna taste it at least. Maybe I'll eat half. Looks delicious. Red bean paste and butter. Might sound like a weird combination. I thought so at first, but it's surprisingly good. So I would recommend that you taste it. Thank you, nice. Hmm. Not bad, Muji. Tastes actually really nice. The croissant isn't super crispy, but it might just be because I've been carrying it around. looking to visit a nice bookstore in Ginza, I would definitely recommend Staya. So there's different Stayas around Tokyo but the Ginza 6 one is definitely a great option. Also there's a Starbucks that is a great place for working. I think I will do one more stop in Ginza and then call it a day. Taken into account the ambiance of this place, how peaceful and nice it is, this is the best pancake place in my opinion. The pancakes, the texture, the flavour, everything's really good. Often when you go to pancake places, the ambiance is kind of restless, it's not aesthetically pleasing. This place is so nice. At least currently it's not touristy at all. I can't see a single foreigner. If you're looking for souffle pancakes in Ginza, come here. I am all cafe out. I had a lovely day in Ginza. Hope you enjoyed following me. Got some ideas of what to do in Ginza, where to go. Happy Saturday. It's been a while since I wore anything long sleeved. <laughs> Tokyo is getting cooler. That said, it's over 20 degrees still, but it's been over 30 degrees for so long that I'm not used to 20 something degrees. It's a very gloomy Saturday today, but there's supposed to be a Hanabi Taikai, so firework festival. Uh, I'm supposed to go there with a group of friends. Actually, most of them I don't know, so meeting quite a few new people. Before I go there, I'm gonna pop by to a friend's design magazine launch event. Vlog a bit, not sure how much. 